In this video, I'll show you how we can mount the USB drive to Proxmox VE. which is installed on Zima board. I'll be going back here to PVE disks and here you can see these are the disks which are attached to the server. So one is the SSD and another is USB. SSD is of course having three partitions which are created while I was installing the Proxmox VE and this one is STB which is right now fresh disk. I can even initialize this with the GPT or I can wipe the disk. So the moment I click on wipe disk, you can also do this by going into the shell. So in shell, if I go here, I can show you the list of disks. MMC is the internal disk which is available in the Zima board and I'm not touching that. Debian is installed in this and Casa OS is installed on top of it. This one is STA. This is 250 GB SSD which is having the Proxmox installed and Proxmox is working fine here. And this is STB which is two terabyte here. I'll be using this one right now. I have provided the link in the description also. So it will create the partition table using this command. For me right now, the disk partition is dev stb. If I show you the disks, so you can see here dev stb. So I'll be going back here and I'll be typing this command over here, which is so gpt partition is created and it is successfully done. If I go back here to disks, you will see here that one new partition is created within this. Even you could do this by creating here initialize with GPT, but I use the command just to show you that through command also you can do it and it will give you better control here. This is USB 3.0. I'll be now going back here and I'll again check the partitions here. So I'll be going LSBLK. STB has this 1.9 TB partition. So I'll be formatting the disk mkfs.ext4. And here I can type in the device name, which will be dev, it will be stb1, enter. It has been formatted. And if I go back here, PVE disks, you can see here that stb is there. And in inside stb, there is stb1, which is partitioned as ext4. And this is how we did the partition over here. So now let me see the UID for this particular disk. So I'll go back here ls dash l dev and disk and here I'll be choosing by dash UID and start. So it must show me the list of disks here. This one is the UUID for the disk and I'll be just copying this here. Based on this UUID now I need to of course create the mount and i will create the mount folder mkatir and here it will be mount mnt slash mkatir usb drive all right so now if i show you here here it is usb drive this will be my mount folder here i will just um, go to nano and FS tab, I'll be opening here. FS tab. Here on top, you can see, first of all, we need to mention file system, mount point, type, option, dump, and pass. The UUID of disk is here. I'll copy this first of all and I'll paste it over here. But it's not only that we have to do, we have to first of all choose the path here, which will be slash dev slash disk and by dash UUID. And what is that UUID? we will just bring it here this is the uuid and where it will be mounted i'll be mounting it to slash mnt slash usb dash drive of course its uh, mount will be ext4 and then i will be choosing defaults and see i will be just saving it yes so i'll be typing mount dash it i'll be using system ctl daemon dash reload so now if i go back here to the disks and I'll refresh this now. Partition is now ext4 lsblk. You can see here stb1 is mounted to USB drive. So here I'll be going to data center again here to storage and I'll be adding this as a directory. Of course, this is a directory which has been added. I'll be giving it a name, for example, USB. And here it is slash mnt slash USB dash drive. So this is the USB drive disk. I'll be choosing this also disk image, ISO image, container image, VG dump, container and snippet. So I'll be choosing all of that and add here. Now you can see here that this is added here. 
2 TB is available, 506 MB is used. It can store the VM disk, CT volume, ISO image, CT template snippet. These are the two disks. And if I go to data center now and store it, so this one is mounted to VAR LIB VZ and this one is mounted to the mount USB drive. I can use this external USB disk for multiple purposes. Even I can use this for the backup as well. This was all about attaching the USB disk to Proxmox. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications when I upload the video. I'll see you in next video. Take care and goodbye.